Hi Aquarius, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. This is your general tarot reading for November 2022. We're going to see what's coming in for you guys, all right? So Aquarius, this is for you, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. You may be dealing with an Aquarius. Please do take it resonates, but cross watchers are welcome to hear. Hello. Um, if you want a personal tarot reading, all the information is in the description box. You can request a reading with me, video record it. I also have it by Etsy message. I have many tarot oracle decks um, on Etsy as well as my spiritual jewelry and cheat sheets. So, um, Check me out if you're interested. Let's jump right into your reading, Aquarius. This is for mid-November. Mid-November 2022 for Aquarius, please. What's going on in Aquarius's love life? This is pertaining also to romance, partnerships of any sort, business, friendships, all that. All right. So what is the biggest challenge you may be experiencing, Aquarius? What is the biggest challenge here for Aquarius? Clear, concise, accurate messages, please. Ace of Swords. All right, so Aquarius, this certainly could be your energy. You're standing in the energy of truth, wanting honesty. Maybe there's someone you haven't heard from and you want communication, okay? But not only just communication, you want them to speak their truth. Let's open up the lines of communication. Let's have this new beginning where we are um, honest, right? We're truth, uh, we're, we're truthful. <laughs> um, the Ace of Swords makes you feel like there's someone that may have been keeping something from you. Maybe you feel like they're intentionally not speaking to you and that could be the challenge wanting communication wanting clarity wanting a breakthrough okay so let's see let's get some more insight in the recent past Aquarius we have the three of pentacles in a verse we have the emperor and the three in the two wands two wands all right so Aquarius in the past um I definitely feel like there was a need to take back control a need to get in control of a situation, of a connection. Maybe something was going down the wrong path. It was spiraling out of control. You may have felt like you and your person may have bumped heads. There may have been some divisions as well with the two wands. Maybe someone was putting off making a decision to move things forward. The emperor is someone who makes good decisions, right? It makes you feel like one person was ready to move forward, make these big decisions, life decisions, coming together, the future. And perhaps someone wasn't. Because the two of wands in a verse, it just makes you feel like someone was putting this off. Now, I'm also seeing the energy of the two, three of pentacles in a verse, where maybe there is some issues regarding what you guys want, your values, your beliefs, your interests, okay? And that could have also created the divisions you felt within this connection. Some of you guys are dealing with a divine masculine or someone like a father figure, okay? The current energy is the eight of wands. So the challenge is communicating and perhaps we are seeing some kind of movement toward that. Eight of wands is quickness. It's transportation. It's communication, whether it be online, a letter, right? Social media. There could be something coming in fairly quickly with this energy. There's movement. There's change. For some of you, there could be someone literally coming to see you, okay, traveling far and wide <laughs> to come see you. Now, with the Ace of Wands in a verse, um, Five of Swords, a lot of you guys, you may have some concerns about something starting up, but then just not going anywhere. Um, especially since we're not really seeing pentacles and the only pentacles we have is a three of pentacles in a verse. So there could be some concerns that this is something that is going to start up. Ace of Wands, very fiery. This person's passionate. They come in, they're enthusiastic, they're inspired, but then things just don't move forward. So there could be some concerns about that. Five of Swords where, you know, clashing. Now, it feels like this is also something that can be making you feel defeated. Like you want movement, but perhaps, you know, you expect movement from this person or, you know, you have this idea that things are finally going to take off and then it doesn't. And there could be some disappointment with that. Uh, let's take a look at your energy, Aquarius. King of Cups, you may be done with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have this great magician, Gemini energy and the Three of Swords in the verse. So yeah, I literally just said a lot of you guys are afraid of perhaps getting hurt or disappointed by if someone like makes a promise or coming in, they're going to go hard and then they don't show up for you. A lot of you, you have big love for this person. There's a lot of unconditional love. I care for you deeply. I wouldn't want anything to happen to you. Um, and it feels to me like with the magician, there could be a situation here that you're willing to like manifest with this person. You know, you're setting your intentions. Maybe you've been manifesting for some kind of change and move in a new direction with this person with the eight of wands. Some of you guys, you're overcoming and letting go of something from the past that hurt you deeply. Heartbreak. This is cutting ties, severance, separates, uh, separation of some sort. 
If that is the case, you may be healing, letting go, purging, and then now manifesting the love that you want. And that King of Cups could be literally a new person coming in for your Aquarius. So if you're manifesting new love, there it is, okay? The Magician, it's something that you've been really creating, you've been wanting, and you've been very intentional about it. In the environment, whoever you're connected to, whoever you're thinking about, let's take a look. We have the Nine of Pentacles. So this could be a single energy, um, independent self-sufficient you could be dealing with someone that just feels like they know it all they don't need anyone else <laughs> um taurus virgo capricorn we have the star that's you aquarius and we have page of swords in a verse and how they see moving towards you is the knight of wands i think you guys hit it on the nail where you know the concerns you had you know this is someone here that again they come in they come in they're excited they're motivated they're driven they make all these promises they're charming knight of wands but then they they don't really move forward right they make these promises they don't keep it so it makes me concerned with the knight of wands in a verse are you dealing with a very immature energy are you dealing with someone that just doesn't have the capacity to bring you the long-term stability that you may want and see um you may get tired of that energy in and out on and off right I do feel like this is someone that may need some more time alone, where they're independent, where they're really working on finding themselves, finding stability, security, what they want, what's important to them, their values. The star is healing, hope. And I feel like a lot of you, you know, Chris, you haven't lost hope in this person. I feel like you do have the hope and faith that maybe something will turn out for the better regarding you and them. But I do feel like there are still some concerns, especially maybe regarding communication, this could be someone that you have the occasional petty argument or fight with with the page of swords it also could be the energy of someone here it's like they communicate but they communicate very indirectly or they communicate with you online but then when it comes time to like have that face-to-face -face contact you know that they're not really there they're not really speaking their truth so there could be some concerns you know where this person avoids communication or they avoid you know taking the action that you want them to take so you know the ace of swords is like breakthrough where are we stand what are we doing here yes or no as far as the outcome there it is the judgment you want finality you want someone who's sure about you who's certain who is really ready to move forward and get things going and moving forward now with the empress I think that's you, Aquarius. I really think the Empress, you could be a divine feminine. If not, this is just the energy of wanting to be cared and loved and nurtured, wanting growth, wanting something to be um, really cared for in order for it to blossom, to move forward, to expand. I definitely feel like there's an opportunity here, but it really comes down, Aquarius, to really fighting for what you want. And maybe, perhaps, some of you guys, you don't fight hard enough when it comes to this person. Maybe you give this person the benefit of the doubt or you give them the easy way out. You allow them to maybe do things that uh, perhaps you don't allow other people to get away with. You know, it makes me feel like there's something here about you giving this person um, the easy way out, okay? Or giving, you know, allowing them to come up with excuses. But the judgment is like, no, 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 no more of that, right? I'm I'm setting my boundaries. I'm making solid decisions. I know what I want. I'm certain and I'm moving toward that. So there could be a need for that. Aquarius, let's jump right in. Let's get some more insight. I'm going to clarify with the tarot and get you as many messages as I possibly can. If you enjoy these readings, like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right, we're going to clarify the Ace of Swords because that is the challenge. Maybe getting communication, getting honesty, truth, cutting out the BS, you know, especially if you're dealing with someone that just like feeds you what you want to hear, but not what you really ought to know. <laughs> Queen of Wands. So perhaps there is some communication that's being hidden or not not communicated right with you regarding a queen of wands leo sag aries this could be a fire sign that you're dealing with directly or it could be someone that they're dealing with ace of swords is like let's let's get to the let's get to the bottom of it let's cut out the bs um there could be something here you're wanting action on as well with the queen of wands in the past give me the energy please we have the two pentacles in a verse, queen of pentacles in a verse, and a five of pentacles. So it definitely feels like a lot of you guys, you expected more from this person, but when you needed them the most, they left you out in the cold. Five of pentacles is feeling abandoned, neglected. Like, am I not good enough, right? And you may have felt that way. You may have felt like what you had to offer just wasn't enough for this person. 
Now, I do get the sense with the Two of Pentacles in reverse, a lot of you had to go back and forth. Maybe there was someone here that was indecisive about you with the Two of Wands, and then you had to make a decision. The Two of Pentacles in reverse could be literally dropping something and, and saying no more, okay? Taking back control, the Emperor, moving forward, picking a new direction. Some of you guys, you had to remove yourself from this whole situation because you realized that it wasn't going anywhere. Um, you know, you wanted more with the Emperor. And the Three Pentacles in reverse, you guys just were not on the same page. Now, the communication that's coming in right now, Two of Wands in reverse, this communication could be coming in after someone makes a decision. Maybe there is um, a lot of indecision, someone kind of unsure what to do which direction who to pick and then they finally say okay i'm ready to make that decision give me that two wands energy six of pentacles and a judge in reverse so what this is telling me is that someone has been avoiding making a decision and it's regarding their time energy effort six of pentacles could be this person giving to other people other situations not spending valuable time with you because there's someone else in the picture so if you felt Aquarius, like with this person, Six of Pentacles, like they were always someone else, uh, somewhere else, right? They were always um, just giving you the short end of the stick, right? They weren't spending good quality time with you. You may have felt like there was someone else on the other side, someone else they were entertaining or dealing with. If that is the case, okay, that could certainly be it, right? That could certainly be it with the Six of Pentacles where there was unequal give and take. But it also feels like with the judge in the verse, there's finally a decision, that someone is making after avoiding making a decision for a really long time. So if your person has been avoiding moving forward with you because of a third party, it's like, finally, I'm ready to move forward with you, Aquarius, because I'm making a decision regarding this other person. Two wands is in the verse. Someone is not indecisive anymore, okay? And it even feels like taking a step further is actually going to resolve some kind of issue between you and them. Five of Swords, where you're not going to be fighting, uh, getting at each other's throats anymore, okay? There's finally movement and change coming in with the Eight of Wands. It's quickness. It's it feels like this is moving to the next level, okay? The energy for you, Aquarius, there's something maybe you're manifesting and it could be coming into play here. You know, the wheel in reverse is here and then we have the nine of swords. When you stop stressing over someone, nine of swords, when you stop <laughs> living in your head, anxiety, frustration, though I can't believe they did this, constantly in your head, negative thinking. Once you let that go, you allow things to move forward in the direction that it ought to be moving in. The wheel in reverse, it feels like this is because of your overthinking, anxiety, frustration. And it feels like when you let that go, it does it, it, it does feel like there's a release, okay? Three of swords in reverse where you're finally making peace with something, you're finally releasing and healing, and then you're manifesting what you want. So something is going to fall into place, but it feels like it has to, it has to come with you letting go of something. Nine of Swords, stop overthinking, stressing, anxieties, worries. Stop letting it affect your eating habits, your day-to-day, -day work pro productivity. Letting it go. And that's the only way the wheel is going to start moving in your favor, okay, toward what you're manifesting. Let's take a look at the star. There, there's a lot of healing taking place. And I feel like the healing is taking place on the individual level with you and your person, but also um, together, okay, supporting some kind of partnership. Ten of Wands is in a verse in the Six of Cups. So I see a situation here where your, your person is quite burdened, right? They feel like there's a lot of heaviness. We had so much uh, beautiful moments and memories. Six of Cups, this is my person. But then we ended on a bad note and it's left me feeling devastated. Makes me feel um, hurt, sad, you know, Ten of Wands. There's emotional burdens and blockages here. And I think that is being cleared out or, um, you know, your person's recognizing how special this connection was. Page of Swords in verse, I don't think they're willingly going to admit that to you. Let's just be honest. Page of Swords in a verse could look like this person just not talking to you or avoiding some kind of communication. And it could be avoiding communication regarding a new beginning. Okay. Ace of Wands came out twice so someone is really really got their eye on a new beginning with you so the ace of wands leo sag aries someone is fired up someone is passionate they're excited they're enthusiastic about a new beginning um, they feel like they've missed out on an opportunity however the knight of wands in reverse let's get a sense of that it does feel like the reason why this person hasn't come in, um, because a lot of you guys are experiencing some kind of significant delay in this person coming in. And the reason why is because there's still work to be done. 
Eight of Pentacles, it, 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 this could be finances, okay? This could be their work obligations, their personal responsibilities, adulting. But the Eight of Pentacles makes me feel like there's something going on in their own personal life, their own bubble that is getting in the way of them being able to put the time, energy, and effort into you and the connection right now. And therefore, they're not taking the action towards you. They're not really communicating because there's nothing they can do right now. So if you're waiting for a new beginning, Ace of Wands coming out twice with this person from the past, Six of Cups, this soulmate, whoever this is, it does look like they're getting their, their ish together. I mean, the Nine of Pentacles is confirmation of that. In their headspace is independence, working on myself, stability, security, money-making opportunities, career advancement, whatever that may be. So they're working on their ish so that they can be in a better place to be able to support this connection, to be able to be there for you, be a better counterpart. And so that's why they're not really communicating much. So that's something you ought to know. With the judgment, the Empress... I do feel like there will be a big decision that will be made. Um, Page of Pentacles in a verse. I just see delays. And I think the delays are coming down to, you know, making sure that when they do come in, it's it, they're going to invest right, right? The Seven of Pentacles, they're really going to show up for you. They're going to invest the way they should in order to make this grow. The Empress desires a certain type of treatment. The Empress embodies all the qualities of all the queens in a tarot. She ain't just no ordinary woman, right? Or divine feminine. It does feel like with the Empress... <laughs> Your person has to get themselves together to be in a place where they can truly nurture and love you, to, to be able to connect with you, protect you, safeguard you. The Empress is all about growth and beauty and, and opportunities. And it feels like the opportunity will come around, the judgment where your person will be able to make that decision and move forward. But it also feels like a lot of you, Aquarius, you're also, you know, making sure that you don't allow this person to come in and just treat you any kind of way. Seven of Wands is like protecting yourself and standing up for yourself and putting your guards up. And so for those reasons, there could be some significant delays before this person comes back because they have to come back as a certain type of individual, right? So that is what I'm seeing, Aquarius. I hope you guys um, received this message and you got some kind of guidance in it. Um, like, share, comment, subscribe. I appreciate love and support on my channel and what I do. And I'll check you guys out soon. All right, take care.